I'll give my quick thoughts on Game of Thrones as a series. Rewatch two, three years, three years ish removed from the last season. Um, mm -hmm. We've talked about the last season uh, in great length on this channel before. You go back two years on the channel, almost two years on the channel. Uh, you can find, um, I think it was like Game of Thrones Season 8 Revisited or something. It was literally like the second podcast we ever did. Um, and we talk about it then, so I'll be interested to actually maybe go back and listen to that. But um, I can tell you, you know, I had a lot of issues with like how Jamie's story ended. Oh, I didn't like how this was done. Like, I was very, I am very much in the season eight really let me down. I mean, you and I, we went, uh, you know, when we used to work together at the same movie theater, we would, you know, for a couple of the episodes, we had a bunch of people in the theater playing it, you know, on the projector and stuff. Um, and I think it just goes to show you that uh, I think at like the midpoint of that season, like we it kind of stopped becoming a priority. It was like, you know, oh, we'll have a movie, an epic, you know, conclude tale of this conclusion and then it just kind of went eh, with every episode so very yeah. much had that but going back and what and re-watching it um re-watching all of game of thrones all eight seasons i gotta say things really worked for me that didn't work for me last time because i think i just did the you know kind of what are they called just engage with the story you're presented basically it's like what people mm. say like i i just watched it for what was there and what they did as opposed to like it the best i could obviously i still had some things where i was like ooh, but like you know not think about what i would have done think about just how is it with what's there and like mm -hmm. i think it started with performances because in all of season eight i was like man nikolai coster waldo is like putting in the work for that Emmy, which unfortunately he did not win because, you know, Peter Dinklage and other people are great, but, you mm. know, he was putting in the work to really send this character off uh, in the best way possible. Peter Dinklage, same thing. Um, I also really got to say, uh, Isaac, uh, what is it? Isaac Hampstead Brown, um, who plays Bran, I actually, even though he's not in it that much, Having watched six, seven, and eight back to back to back and see and kind of revisiting fully his progression into the three eyed raven, I actually mm -hmm. kind of like was a little more okay with it because, like I said, I literally just the six, seven, eight of it all, I probably watched those three seasons within like five days of each other. So I really freshly remembered every single step of Brand's journey and what happened with Max von Sydow and all that stuff. Um, yeah. and so when he did have these moments, like in one of the episodes when he's just sitting in the courtyard and Sam comes up to him at one point and it's like, Hey, do you want to come help me with something? And he's like, no, I'm waiting for a friend. And then at the, the very end of the episode is Jamie turning up and then it's just the two of them looking at each other. And then the episode ends like <laughs> that. To me, I was like, that got me like excited. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that was episode two of season eight. Um, but yeah, a lot of it worked for me a lot better and i think a lot of it comes down to i really did realize that all these choices and i and i'm completely saying including bran becoming king all these choices i think would have worked perfectly fine if they had the time to breathe i think that's really all it just came down to was them going all right we're going to wrap up the show, but we're we're going to wrap up the whole show in just 13 episodes. Uh, I think that was just the biggest flaw. Not what the wrap-up of the story was, but just how much they truncated everything. In my opinion, I think that's what really makes it suffer because being a huge Game of Thrones fan, just I am, I know you are, like a lot of our friends, massive Game of Thrones fans, um... I gotta say, the plot stuff for me worked this time around. It really just came down to the execution. So, those are just my quick thoughts, I guess, on revisiting Game of Thrones as a series.